guest started off by being more famous than her sister Kylie with her new single, Racing Up the Charts. It looks as if she may well eclipse her once again. We're joined now by Danny Minogue, Scream hi, outside. Hi. <laughs> Can you say it? Yeah. Hi, lovely to have you here. Thank you. I mean, I was going to start off by saying, in, in no sense is there any point in comparing you with your sister Kylie, and actually maybe there is. You've got about the same number of fans now by yeah, the looks of it. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't expect so many to be here today, but I guess it's school holidays. Yes, it is. And they're all here, and it's really nice to yeah. sort of get their support and, and meet the people who are buying the single. Yeah. Do you find that having a sister as famous as Kylie does that make life harder for you or easier? It's both sometimes. I mean, it, it's good because she's already sort of gone international and I can learn from what she's done. But, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, there's people comparing us. But, you know, I'm sure that's just something to break through. Mm. It's also good because people are expecting a lot, so it makes me drive harder yeah. to sort of... I don't know, it's a bit of a you know, can we just have a nice close-up of Danny here? You don't look like her. You no. don't look the same at all, do you? No, no. Was, was there a time like... when you resembled each other, or have you grown apart? No, no. It? She looks like our mother, and I look like our father. Really? Yes, yeah, really? So really different. But you actually, you have been, in, in your own right, in Australia, you've been uh, very well known for a long time. Didn't you start off when you were seven? Yeah, I started off doing a few little acting bits and pieces when I was seven, and I went on to a variety program in Australia for for six years, singing and dancing, and that's sort of where it all started for me. Well, kind of a junior showtime sort of program. Yeah, yeah. and then I, I fell into a bit more acting, um, and I got a record contract, which is what I always really wanted to do was sing, so now you I'm see, pursuing is, that. It's strange. This morning, Judy and I were saying, OK, we looked at our, you know, we get briefs on all the people we talk about, and we, yeah. we, well, we talked to her rather, and we thought, hang on, there's nothing here really about, sort of, you know, her private life and all the rest of it. Let's just get a bit more. And actually, you don't really have one. I mean, well, of course you do, <laughs> but I mean, you don't work since you were seven. You're basically at it all the time. Shows, yeah. songs, now recording contracts. I'm getting really embarrassed. So, where did the ambition come from? I mean, what got you going at that young age and has kept you going? I don't know. I was, I was just very lucky to get, to get the break. Um, you know, there's a lot of talented people around everywhere you go, but it's just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And you've always wanted, that's what I'm saying, since you were seven, you've always yeah. wanted to be a star. Yeah, I guess I just sort of plodded along, did my own thing. I, I went to singing and dancing school and just sort of learned a little bit. Mm. Um, but did, I mean, when Kylie was in Neighbours, was it, was it the acting that came first for her and, and then the music, whereas with you it was the other way around? Yeah, yeah, she started with the acting. <laughs> <laughs> around and give them a wave and say, hello! Yeah, it's sort of a going away wave, you know, sort of. <laughs> No, they're great. Uh, yeah, she started with the acting and mm. then sort of later moved into the singing and I started the other way around. Mm. But you were better, well, isn't it true to say, although you, you've kind of had a parallel career in Australia, you were better known first, as it were. I mean, you were famous first, and then yeah. she got totally famous, and obviously, I think <laughs> all the signs say you're going to be as famous as she is, in this country anyway, very, very soon. Um, yeah. well, did that cause any, would it, frankly, if that happened between me and my sister, I'd hate her guts for a while. <laughs> I mean, you know, did, it, did it cause a bit of jealousy? Not now, but then, when it happened? No, I mean, she was sort of still doing her own thing. I mean, she, before she got into Neighbours, she was doing a few other sort of drama series within Australia, and sort of starting to create a name. So it was nice, and we were both doing different things. I mean, at that stage, I really didn't have any idea about acting, and, mm. you know, the same with her for singing. She wasn't really thinking about that then either. And she's your big sister as well, which she must help, because you must yeah. feel that you've got a few years to catch up yet. Yeah. yeah. How old is she? Tw she's 22. And you're 19. 19. Yeah. yeah. They, they say you've got a very shrewd business head on your shoulders. I mean, you've, 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 you've got it, yeah. You've got, you've, you have this sort of fashion range, didn't you, in Australia? Yeah. Which you, it's very unusual. It's you've got 100% control over. And yeah. people who know you say that you've got a very hard business head. Is that, is that, where does that come from? I like to think so. Um, I got... Uh, <laughs> oh, I got, it's very difficult. Yeah, it is. Well. I'm sorry. Well. Um, I, got, I got offered to, to do a range, and I just... I didn't want to just throw my name on something. I was sort of really adamant that it was something that I sort of created myself because that's what the fans wanted, something made by Danny that mm. I had full input into. And I'm really proud of that. It, it's worked well and I'm continuing on with that and hopefully I have the opportunity to expand here and also in Japan. Mm. Um, what kind of clothes are they? They're sort of just like casual casual clothes for young like girls. something you've got on now? Um, sort of. I mean, we do sort of more jeans and t-shirts and track tops. Casual and stuff. Yeah, yeah, really casual. But yeah. they love that and it's sort of, it's at a price that they can afford. So mm. yeah. they sort of can wear something and know that 
that I designed it. Right. Well, listen, you've got your first single in this country on the charts. It's number 15 at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so Which excited. I found out on Sunday. Hot stuff. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I mean, what's... You, you seem to have a good game plan. It's very hard to think, isn't it? What's, what's your game plan, Danny? I mean, what do you, how do you see yourself going, say, in the next two years? Would you like to, to, to kind of follow the, the Kylie route? Or would you like to move into films earlier than she did? I mean, you know, what's, what's your plan? Well, I'm actually doing a film later on this year in oh, yeah. Australia. And um, that, that's going to be really exciting for me, the first time sort of working with film. Mm -hmm. And um, then I'll be coming straight back here, releasing my singles, and, and if everything goes as well as it is now, I'll be sort of putting together a tour, which I really love doing, is getting out there and performing live. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, the, the next year down the track, maybe, you know, another record and, and who knows. Yeah, would you ever, I mean, obviously Australian soap's immensely popular over here and there have been very good launching pads for, yeah. for you, for Kylie, yeah. for all sorts of other people as well. Would you ever continue going back in one again? Is it, is it, is it too, does it no. dominate your life too much? It does, yeah. it's sort of, it's a really full-time thing, it's five days a week but they're long days and on the weekends you're still studying lines for the next week and I, I couldn't possibly do it now, you know, mm. if I want to sort of be travelling internationally. Mm. And, and working on my music, mm. but yeah, it was a really good start for me. It, it wasn't, it wasn't planned that way to follow sort of what Kylie had done. But um, as I say, I got offered a part in that, so I thought. Yeah, well, there's only so many routes you can go, aren't there? And there's pop singing, you know, and there's yeah. there's making films and there's making TV programs. Yeah, and really, if she's done that, it's a, it, in a sense, it's a bit coincidental that you're doing yeah, it as well. Yeah, I mean, it's great. In the last couple of years, I think they've sort of come up with a lot of, I know in Australia, a lot of younger stars. And it's been easier to move from singing into acting and acting into singing. And it, it's great. Mm -hmm. You can really cross over and sort of, you know, have yeah. a much yeah. broader... Where would you like to live? Would you like to live here or in Australia? I don't know. It, it's really hard. I, I, I think I'm living here now. I'm sort of based here for most of the time this year. But, I mean, I still call Australia yeah. home, home. And that's, mm. yeah, that's where I go the back. The Australian soap phenomenon, really, has meant, must have meant a huge revolution in favour of youth and young actors in Australia. Yeah, it's, it's really great. There's sort of a lot of opportunities at the moment, although this year is harder than, than, than the previous couple of years. I know the industry here also, um, with television and movies, is, is quite down, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't think, I don't think over here, though, our, our dramas and soaps over here aren't so heavily, don't emphasise the youth aspect quite so No, heavily, there was a brief sort of flash in the pan with EastEnders, wasn't there? That's yeah. um, well, one of our big soaps here on yeah. BBC, which, uh, which used a lot of young actors, but that seems to have died away a bit now, doesn't it? Mm. Well, Al started off with the older actors, and then they, they started bringing the, the younger actors, and, and that sort of made it very popular. So yeah, I think they're so. sticking with that formula now. Well, Can I know. ask you a personal question? Are you a millionaire yet? <laughs> Are you there yet? Have you, have you, no. No, you're not there yet? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Well, judging by this lot, I think you probably will Tuesday be. Tuesday week, Johnny probably. Yeah. Give him a wave, and then we'll have one yeah. last yeah. swing. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Actually, they're here to see Fred the Weatherman. <laughs> no, no way. No. They don't screen for Fred. <laughs> they don't. They, they screen active. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. And after the break.